So first, when you open up Roblox Studio, at the top, press View, and then you just open up Explorer, Properties, and Toolbox. Now, in the toolbox, you click these four boxes right here, and you'll click on the model, Hat Slash Hair Giver, which is down in the description. You just get it, it's free. You'll also need the plugin, which at the top, plugins, easy catalog, also free, install it, and the model too, down in the description. Click on the model, and just drag it over here, and select the model, open it up, this little arrow right next to it, don't need directions, you can just delete it. So this, hat remover, and this is hair giver. You just select both of them and put them in workspace and just delete hat slash hair giver by me. Delete that. Now, when you have hair giver and you have the hat remover, inside hair giver, you're going to open up plugins at the top up here and click easy catalog. So it should appear right here, a black box. Now you go back to the website and at the top, Avatar Shop, click on that. And any accessory right here, accessory plus sign, any accessory should work with this. But as an example, I'm going to use a hair and I'm going to use this one. So at the top of each one of them, there will be a bunch of numbers in the URL. You just take all the numbers and copy it. Now, when you go back to Roblox Studio, inside of the box right here, click and then Control V at the same time to paste the ID. Now you just press Insert and then at the top up here again, click Easy Catalog to remove the box. Press Home and then Move. And look around and when you see the arrows that's where the hair is at so i'm gonna just move it closer like this and i'm gonna rotate it so that it's facing forward and if you want a more precise way of moving the hair just go into model and then press this so that the blue is off and when you move it it'll move and have more precise changes. So I'm going to just move it to the center and it has to be inside of the container like this. It doesn't have to be like a certain point up, down. It just has to be inside of this blue shield thing for it to work. Now you're going to take it over in Explorer Click and hold and drag it into the hair giver. And when you do, you can just rename the hair giver the accessory that you have. So if you have like, for instance, the toxic messy buns, you'll name it exactly that. And for the actual accessory with the blue little wizard hat, I'm going to click inside of that and rename it to accessory. Like that. Now when you did that, open up accessory and you see where it says handle, click on that and then scroll down in properties and where it says anchored, check the box and where it says can collide, uncheck that box so that you could just walk through the hair. Now in accessory, not handle, accessory, right click it and insert object. And you're going to type INT. And this should pop up. This value right here. You just click on that. And it goes into the accessory, not the handle. It's very important. Now in value, you're going to rename that to ID. It's all capital. Now in the ID, right here where it says value, zero, click on that. Delete it. Just backspace. And then... Control V at the same time to paste in the ID and you press enter on your keyboard. Now, when that's all happened, it should be good. So let's test it out. Art remover, 
Almost all the accessories you have on. And then, the hair giver. Damn, it works. And you have to follow all the steps that I did. You don't have to use this hair. You could use any other accessory, like a hat or, you know, a shoulder accessory back. I think those work too. But you have to follow each step, because if you don't, it might not work for you. And to prove that it works with any other hair, you just take it and bam. And it keeps removing them. And you can wear different hair at the same time like that. But I recommend you not do that because it makes your game very laggy. And each hair works. And if you'd want to make more of these, you just select it and then right click on it and duplicate. And when you move that, the arrows, it'll have another one. And then we just delete the accessory of it. And you do the same thing that you did with the first accessory. You do that with the second one. But if you'd like, to have the hair like that, but not a barrier, just open the model and click inside pipe, top bottom colors, and center. And select all of that at the same time. And right where it says transparency, click underneath the zero and press one and then enter. So now it's transparent. Now just select the two pipes and scroll down in properties and press can collide so that it's checked off like that. Now select all of that and you can move it so that it's lower. Or you can move it and prop it up on like a model, like a humanoid or anything that you've made or like a prop up stand, you know, mannequin, anything. And it'll just work as fine. And I recommend if you do that, you want to make the hair kind of farther away. Like if you make another one, put the accessory about like right here, face it out, you know, so that if somebody goes to press it, you know, step on it, they go to get the hair, they won't get both of them at the same time. And they'll have an easier way of getting the accessory that they want. But you have to keep them in that shield. You can't just delete all this. You have to keep all of this. You just make them all transparent. And yeah, I hope that this video helps you out. If you have any more questions, just let me know down in the comments. And I'll try my best to reply to them as soon as possible. And yeah, I hope that you have a wonderful day. And um, peace.